I want to show you how to make a quick double-click procedure in order to double-click on a Civil 3D label and edit it without having to click on it, right-click, go to Edit Label Text, and so on and so forth. All you'll have to do in the future is just double-click on it, and it'll open that. Here's how that's done. You want to select a label that you want to work on, and when you list it, it comes up with this name that the program has called it. That's the object, AECC General Note Label, with using underscores and spaces. You want to write that down exactly the way that is. The second thing you want to do is click on the label and go through the normal procedures of how to edit that label text. And you'll notice down here to invoke this box, they used the F2, I'm going to cancel this, and uh, hit F2, and it's called the Edit Label Text. So that means if I was to type in Edit Label Text and then select the label, it would do the same thing as right-clicking and so on and so forth. So again, this is um, the command that you want to write down to invoke on this AECC underscore general underscore note underscore label object for this procedure. So once you have those two bits of information down, you can say uh, CUX, oh, you, uh, let's go C U C U I. I'm sorry, C U I. And this is a customization um, uh, information dialog box. And so we're going to go to, to not mouse buttons, but double click procedures. And if I click here, you'll notice no more. You know, there are no commands under double click procedures. We're going to add one just for edit labels. So we would right click on double click procedures, new double click action. We're just going to give it a name, a, a, just a text name, and I'm going to call it edit label. and I'm going to press OK. The object name that we're going to be working on is that AECC underscore general underscore note underscore label. Just, just like we saw in the listing of it. It has to be spelled exactly the same. AECC underscore general underscore note underscore label. So with that, we press Enter. And then the command that we want to invoke on that object is going to be down in the edit, edit um, uh, label. So edit, edit hatch, edit interference, edit label. So edit label text is the, is the command that we would normally invoke on that. And I'm going to drag it and drop it on this double click procedure that we created. Now we see that we're going to invoke this command onto uh, um, this, uh, the, the ACC general uh, note label. It's not really shown here. But when we say OK there, and now if we want to edit this object, I let my system kind of calm down here. I double click and it just opens it. I'd say OK to that. I go to the next one and I just double click it and it opens it. So if I have multiples of these, and I'm just going to make several copies kind of around. Anyone I want to edit, I just double click it. And that can be that one. I double click this one. This can be that one and so on and so forth. So that's how you make a double click procedure. You have to know the command that you're trying to invoke and the object that you're trying to invoke the command on and then put them in that double click procedure under CUI.